Hi, this is Paul from FinishYourSong.com. Got a video here in our series looking at mixing drums, and what I want to look at here is combining mono tracks to create a stereo track. Why would you want to do that? Well, the short answer is if you look here at the drums as they've been presented to me to mix, what we have is two mono overhead tracks. Now, if you're going to have two mono overhead tracks, you have to make sure that you EQ them the same and that you apply the same inserts to them, the same send settings as well. Otherwise, you don't end up with a true uh, picture on the overheads. What you end up with is two differently mixed tracks, which may be what you want, in which case you're fine, but in most cases it won't be. So what we want to do is to bounce these down to create a stereo overhead track that we can then mix as a single track in Cubase. And the way to do it is to export it and re-import it from the audio pool into the project and then we can remove these two tracks from our mix. Now to do an audio export you would do export audio mix down. The problem with this is if you have a look at doing this, you can only pick one channel. So you can't click both of these to export the two as a single stereo file. You can do channel batch export and then you can export them. The problem with that is that it will export them as two individual stereo files. It won't export them as two mono files. So you have to export them in a different way. And the way to get around that is to take the overheads and pan the left to the left and then route it to a drum bus. Pan the right to the right and route it to the drum bus and have nothing else routed to that bus. So what will happen is if we were to set this to play, the only thing that would come through the drum bus down here would be the overheads. So what I'm going to do now is go back into File, Export, Audio Mix Down, and I can select that drum bus. So I can name my file as Stereo Overheads. It will export it as a WAV file. I keep the sample rate and the bit depth the same as the original recordings. I want to import it into the pool and I want to create an audio track. But before I export, what I also have to do is to tell it where I want to export and import from. So I'm going to set my left and right markers here, spanning the area that I want to export and I'm going to set my song marker to be at the left marker because that's the position where Cubase will import the mixed track. So we have this rooted to the drums, that rooted to the drums panned fully left and right. We have to remember when you're exporting is that you can always pan them inwards Later, what you can't do is extend the width of the track. Once you've positioned these in the stereo image, they're pretty much fixed there. All you can do is make your stereo image narrower without having to resort to plugins. So fully left and right, we've got the drum track. We'll now do File, Export, Audio Mix Down of our drum bus, file called Stereo Overheads, Export, And there we are. And it's created the stereo overheads underneath. So we can just cancel that to come out. And then what we can do is lift this up and place it there. And as you'll see, it extends fully to the width of our left and right markers. So just to prove the point, if we flip into our Mix Console view, 
here we have the overheads left and right and the stereo if we solo those and set them going you'll see that the meters reflect the original levels there we have it. The drums have been mixed down. We now have a stereo overhead pair and we can delete these tracks from our mix and just concentrate on dealing with that one stereo overhead. That's all there is to it. Until next time, take care of yourselves. <laughs>